Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm doing a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Um, I do have a few Walmart things here. All of it is related to back to school. Oh, okay, I shouldn't say all of it. Most of it is related to back to school. And as you probably know, um, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Target, all of the stores are um, stocked for back to school. And you can get some really good deals right now. And especially for Dollar Tree, when you see something that is seasonal, snatch it up or they may not get it in again and they might not get it till the next year. Um, so I will go over what I've uh, found. So if you guys uh, see anything you like, you can go check out your Dollar Tree and see if you can find it um, yourself. The first thing I thought I would talk about here are these really nice, I've got a lot of glare here, sticker books. Um, I found these all at Dollar Tree, and these are Christian materials, so each one has a different story that it's focusing on. Um, they're really cute. My son has actually already tackled this one, and you've got these um, sticker pages in the middle, and I just tear these out so that we can easily refer to them separately as we go through the book. And um, they're numbered by pages, although he's gotten... He started playing with it on his own. He's gotten out of order, but I don't care. For a dollar, um, I really don't care. But this one is on the uh, story of Joseph and Mary. And you've got um, a word um, decoder thing here. You've got pages that you can decorate and then little puzzles and things. So, um, And, of course, it goes through the stories. So I'm really excited about these. He's enjoying them, and it just gives us something to fun to work on over the summer to keep these stories um, fresh in his mind. Um, that was Mary and Joseph. There's the story of Joseph, the story of David, the story of creation, the miracles of Jesus, the story of Jonah, the story of Noah. I picked up everything I could find. They um, didn't have a whole lot left. So um, if this is something you're interested in, be sure to check out your Dollar Tree and see if you can find it or Check the website. I need to try to start doing that. I don't shop on their website, but um, I have a lot of friends who tell me that they get stuff off their website and they'll ship it to the store. Um, but don't, uh, I don't know how exactly that works. You have to order in bulk or what, but all right. These are notable mentions because I didn't get them at this haul, but I believe they're still available at um, most of the Dollar Trees. And they're items that I have been using and really enjoyed, so I wanted to show them to you. Now, the exception to what I just told you would be these. Um, I found one package of these. These are glitter gel pens, and they're by the Promark brand. I wanted to mention these because of how amazing they are. These are probably the best gel pens I've ever used. And um, I managed to find one package. And I went ahead and, and brought it up here because I've seen other uh, Dollar Tree hauls where they're finding these in their store. So I wanted to bring this up because if you see these, pick them up. They are fantastic. And um, if I can happen to run across any more, I'm getting backups because these really are really, really uh, nicely made and, and functional uh, gel pens. These are the sparkle ones. They come in four colors. You've got the gold, uh, the blue, the pink, and the purple. And all of them work um, exceptionally well. Just wonderful. These you can still get. They had run out of these, but they've got them back in for back to school. So that's why I'm bringing them in, bringing them up, I should say, here. Um, these are the metallics, and these are the Jot brand. Um, you've got a red, the green, the gold, and the silver. These are amazing. They work, they work really, really well. I haven't had any trouble with them at all. And um, again, for a dollar, that's pretty exceptional. Um, these are their metallic permanent markers. And I've been really happy with these. They sell these in a two-pack of the gold and silver. And I thought I would bring it up here because I've seen them. Um, they're still being carried at, at our Dollar Tree. So I wanted to bring these up because um, I've really enjoyed their permanent markers. I haven't had any trouble with them. So they're cheaper than Sharpie. So why not? And this was really fun. I saw this at the checkout. They had a big display of these. Um, as far as I know, they're still carrying these. I didn't. This was actually a pretty recent purchase. Um, and look at all the different colors. You remember these pens from when we were kids? They had like four or five colors maybe, but look at this. Let's see, let's start with the pink. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten colors. 
and you pop it down and you get that and of course you can write with it it's a very very fine tip I will um, I will mention that let me show you so it's um, it's it's a very fine tip I don't even know how that would translate maybe 0.3 millimeters um, and they smell these are all scented every single one of them all the different inks are scented and then when you're done you pop the lid and it, anyway this is fun kids would have a blast with this and I'm a pen a little bit of a pen addict so I have fun with it too okay this I've been wanting to show this in a haul for a while I got this actually a while back and it's been a functional and fun um, item it's got the continents it's got the oceans and I use this with our geography so that I don't have to pull out the globe because for, you know, elementary, uh, geo, geo, whatever I'm trying to say, um, I keep wanting to say geometry, geography, you know, this is perfect. So it's, it, it's, I lost it at one point because the older kids kept playing with it. So now that I found it, I thought I would show it to you because I did see this in a recent Dollar Tree haul by um, Project Happy Home. She found these at her Dollar Tree, so they are still floating around out there. And our Dollar Tree replaced these with a little bit smaller one, and I don't like it quite as well, but they are still available there. So if you can't find this one, there is another one. Um, it's a little bit smaller, and but it, it you know it's a globe as well. So I thought I would bring this up because this has been extremely handy, and we've loved that. All right, so now for my current haul. Ooh, glare. All right. So my son's going into second grade, my youngest. So I found these addition and subtraction word problems. And um, I'm really trying to get him to understand the practical aspects of math. So I did pick this up. And to go with it, I picked up this little pocket. And you can slide your papers in there and use a dry erase or a wet erase marker, and they can reuse these sheets over and over again, which I find to be um, really handy. Or you can, of course, reproduce them if you would prefer, but um, that's what I got those for. And there's actually, this is pretty generous. This is, you know, a little bit weighty. Um, 38 worksheets, so a generous amount of work there. And then, of course, these are not really homeschool related, but we are always running out of chip clip, um, which is what I get these for, for our bags of chips. I don't know where they go. They just disappear, and I buy them all the time, so I bought more for a dollar. Okay. Um, I've got a little bit of Walmart stuff here, but I'll go into that last. Okay, Blistex. I'm always needing lip balm, so I get these for a dollar if I can find them. They don't always have them, but when they do, I try to stock up on them because this is really the best lip balm I think I've ever used. And I tried EOS. Um, those dry my lips out and it doesn't make any sense because when you read the ingredients, they're all, you know, really high quality, excellent ingredients and there's no reason that they would dry somebody's lips out um, based on the ingredients, but they do. And I've, I've tried it over and over again and I can't use it. So, um, the ingredient list is actually pretty decent. Ooh, if we can focus. You know, it's a beeswax based um, list of ingredients. It's got a sunscreen in it. It's very emollient. I, I really like it. And this is probably my favorite flavor that they carry. So, um, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, we needed some antiseptic mouth rinse. My son asked for it, my old list, so I got that for him. Uh, this is a knockoff of Listerine, and it's a lot cheaper at the dollar store. So, I'll get it there. Same with toothpaste. I've tried to buy this at Walmart and it's almost doubled. So uh, when I get when they have this at the dollar store, um, I get it there for my youngest. Um, and of course, I got some toothbrushes because who can't have uh, you can't have too many toothbrushes, right? So all right, okay. These I wanted to talk about these. These are sandwich boxes, but the quality of these is really really good. And I've got their cheaper ones that have the characters on them. I think I've got Minions and I've got a Star Wars one. And they're real flimsy and I have to be real careful with them. I can't put them in the dishwasher. Now, I don't know that I would put this in the dishwasher just to be on the safe side. But it's the, the plastic is a lot thicker. It's um, I keep marbles in one and use it for um, addition and subtraction games. 
and because they had one left and they never restocked i never um mentioned it in any of my homeschool videos or um you know or any kind of dollar tree thing because you couldn't get them so now that it's back to school they've restocked these so if you see these get them because they won't have them all year um they had pink blue and purple this looks pink as i'm filming it but it's not as purple but they have a pink one and so i got one for my two my middle son and my youngest uh, one for each and then they had these too. This comes in a two pack. And you can use these for snacks, you can use them for storage, you can use them for um, all kinds of stuff. But again, the quality is really good. They have a nice, firm, you know, snap. Yay, I can't get that one to snap. I hope I didn't just, uh... there, no. <laughs> I'm bragging on it and now I can't get it to, oh, and it came off, wow. Hopefully I didn't break it. Nope, it's not broken. All right, there we go. So, anyway, uh, it's, uh, let's try again. I'm one-handed here, so, see, it's got a nice, firm snap, almost too firm because I can't do it with one hand. And I can't see that one I'm not having trouble with. And again, I got a purple and a blue, but a two pack for a dollar. Okay. These little jot um, flags. I usually buy these at Walmart. During back to school time, they're a dollar or less for a whole bunch of them. But I saw these at the Dollar Tree and I thought I would try them. You get 150 of them for a dollar. So I use these for all of our workbooks and even sometimes our reading books just to keep our place. And they're, um, they don't get lost like a bookmark does. So um, anyway, these were a um, dollar. And I'm going to be starting cursive with my second grader this year. We're going to do a transitional curriculum where you start with the, the print um, practice and then move into learning cursive. So I was real excited to see this for practice because, um, you know, you can learn it, but you still need to practice. So I'm very excited about that. And then for my middle schooler, I say that, he's not in middle school this year. He's going to be in high school. It's first year of high school. He is, we are still homeschooling, but we are going to go through the charter. I have various reasons for doing that. Um, number one, they, they are going to be very flexible in how we um, choose to teach him. We're going to get to use teaching textbooks. Um, we have a teacher overseer, so I'll have to turn work into her, but we are able to use that. Um, we're going to have a blended biology class where he can go in to do live labs, and then he's going to do a couple online classes and then also a couple of classes at the high school. So we're going to try to, um, to, to use the charter this year, and um, we did do that with my oldest, and we lasted one year and decided to homeschool exclusively at that point. So... I'm going to try it with with this one and see uh, how he likes it and it will of course go back to homeschooling exclusively if we need to but he really needs a planner now this is kind of girly i'll just admit that <laughs> up front it was the least girly one i could find but they have this at the dollar store and it's really well done i'll show you but i'm going to tell you right now i wasn't going to invest in a real expensive planner if he wasn't going to use it so um but each day has plenty of room to write and it's just a pocket sized um, planner but for a dollar it's got really it's well done I think it gives us plenty of room to write down you know when he's got assignments due and what he's got to do for the day and if I see that he uses this and we need to um, you know upgrade it we can but you know I wanted to see if he would use it first before I invest in a more expensive planner because I got him one last year, he didn't use it. So, all right, stickers. My youngest loves stickers on his workbook pages, and he likes them big. So when I saw this, and I don't know what happened to the box, I think he might have seen it and gotten into it. But these stickers are pretty good size, and of course they're very, um, 
you know, uh, colorful and, you know, all about, you know, good job, you know, kind of comic book style, uh, super job, incredible, cool read, fantastic. So I got these um, for him for that purpose. 180 stickers, stickers for a dollar is really a good deal, in my opinion. <laughs> See that? Okay. This is a graph composition notebook. Now I'm into the Walmart purchases. Now Walmart, of course, just stocked all of their um, back to school stuff right after 4th of July was over. Um, they're starting to do the deals. Now, one thing I've noticed about Walmart is, um, you know, they're pretty competitive in pricing, generally speaking, on school supplies, but you can get some really good deals at certain points during the back to school season. So I picked up a few things that I felt like were really good deals. And one thing that I've noticed as a homeschool, when we started homeschooling, is that we just don't go through as many homeschool, so, I mean, uh, school supplies as we did when we were in, in, in private or public school. So, um, so I don't need a whole lot of stuff. I'm trying to be really good because I love school supplies. So uh, it's really tempting when I see a good deal to just go overboard. Um, but I'll kind of uh, go through what I decided was worth the purchase here and then try to mention some things that I saw that we didn't need, but that you might be interested in if you go um, to Walmart and you want to check them out. So this I actually got from me. It was only 97 cents, but I'm trying to learn how to do brush lettering, and I think the grid, uh, the graph paper will help me um, do that. So I didn't actually get this for any of my kids. I got it for me, and um, we have a ton of of these um, and for some reason, my kids prefer spirals over these. So I have, I have a bunch of them. I don't need any for them. Um, but they're running, they had some for 50 cents. And then they had some for uh, 97 cents. And that's what I paid for this one. Um, this, I couldn't resist. These were 25 cents a piece. So uh, 12 and a half cents per glue stick. And it's the full-size glue stick. It's not the super jumbo one, but it's the full-size glue stick. So... They had these uh, for 25 cents each or two for 50 cents. I can't remember how they worded it, but um, for that price, I just had to get them because they, my kids are notorious or my youngest is notorious for not putting the lid on tightly enough and it drying out. So I got one, two, three, four of those. And um, they, if I remember correctly, they won't have that, that deal the whole, the whole season. So if you can find that deal, snap it up. Okay, now I'm real excited about this. I have a little bit of a problem with pins anyway, but when I saw that they were carrying the friction, the friction pins by Pentel, Pentel, Pilot, sorry, forgive me, Pilot. Um, these are erasable pins. Now, when I was a kid, we had erasable pins and they were worthless, completely worthless. You would like tear holes in your paper trying to erase the ink. These... Do not do this. Now, I haven't actually opened this because, well, I wanted to film this and I didn't want to open it and have loose pens for this, but I have seen demonstrations of these pens. They're erased using the friction of the eraser and they erase completely. So I'm very excited to try these. They have them on Amazon for like 20 bucks, I want to say. You know, you get more than four. But it was going to be an expensive um, test product, you know, to get that many for 20 bucks. So these were $4 and 26 cents. Hang on. Um, $4.24. $4.24 cents for four of them. So for me, that was worth checking out. And they had all black ones, and then they had these multicolored packs. So I'm really excited about these. And they also have um, a pack of black pins that have one blue friction pin in it for you to try. So if you're just kind of on the fence about these, um, you can buy the regular pack of pins. I don't remember how much they were, but it comes with a free friction pin that you can try. Um, The other notable deal I found on pins, and I bought a ton of these last year because I found the deals last year as well, so I didn't need any more, but uh, I really like the Inkjoy pins. Um, 
that's paper made yeah paper made ink joy pens and they had an 18 pack for two dollars and 49 cents or something like that and that's a deal that won't last long because they're really good pens um and i have a ton of them because i kept finding deals on them last year so um if you need pens and i'm trying to think was there any other notable mention notable deals um they had their one subject um spiral notebooks for 40 cents but those will go down to 20 if i remember correctly they do every year so i'm kind of holding out for that um because we do need more of those but um since they usually mark them down to 20 cents or 15 cents i can't remember i usually try to stock up on them then um and just as a little side note, um, some, one of the best places to get good deals on supplies is your local um, office supply. If you have a Staples, Office Depot, just go on the website and look at their weekly ad and they will always have some kind of a loss leader for like 10 cents for a package of 100 um, loose leaf paper, um, 10 cent notebooks, um, 5 cent um, Stuff. I mean, like, oh, like one penny for uh, the the two pocket folders, you know, all kinds of stuff. So, um, unfortunately, our Staples and our Office Depot both closed. I don't have access to anything like that unless I drive quite a ways to do it. And the only downside is that they sell out really fast on those kinds of things. So, um, you know, <laughs> I don't really want to drive 45 minutes away to find out they're all sold out on everything, what I came in for. But... Um, anyway, so that's so far what I've gotten on my little school supply haul from, um, Dollar Tree, and I'm sure there's more to come, but I thought I would do this and just let you guys know, because, um, I know that when they get their, uh, seasonal items in, you, you gotta snag them when, when they've got them, because they may not get them again until the next season, so I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, because I've got more to come. Thank you.